Welcome to Kerbal Space Program. In this video, I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks, but this video is not going to be too long due to the fact that there is a whole training section on this game that is very, very in depth. This is more about the beginning progress you'll make through the career if you decide to play the career. The tutorials in this game will not only help you with understanding how to build rockets, because the whole game's based on building rockets and sending them into space. The tutorial won't only help you with that, it will give you all the keys to use and everything. It goes really, really in depth. I think they've done a fantastic job with putting the tutorials together. But when you jump into the career, you start off with the very basic rockets that you can put together. What you need to do is you need to send that rocket up into space. You need to level up your astronauts and you just basically have to get enough research so that you can progress through the science or the, like the tech tree and you can build bigger and better rockets. There are these pods that you can apply to the rocket and they are so, so helpful. What they do is they have little bits of goo in them and basically when you're flying your rockets up, when you're launching them, the goo will change and everything like that depending on the atmosphere and the more progress they make, the better the science data is collected from them, the more science points you'll get. And then what you need to do is use your science points, unlock different bits for like survivability, unlock like more powerful rocket parts. And then it's just about keep creating rockets over and over again, trying loads of different stuff. You'll have plenty of money in the career. You won't need to worry about that. You can change the difficulty and things like that. So you can start off with more funds or you can make it a little bit more of a hardcore experience and start with less funds and things like that. You get a lot of options, a lot of settings and stuff in this game. And one of my biggest tips for Kerbal Space Program is just to like make sure you're sending enough rockets up. Just keep sending them over and over again. Because there was one rocket I sent up and it started descending, came back like out of orbit, like out of space or whatever. And as it was coming down, the parachute deployment was successful. My astronaut was not going to die. But then all of a sudden, when the rocket landed, because of the terrain, there was a mountain. So it wasn't like a smooth, flat terrain. When the rocket landed, or the command pod landed, it started rolling down the mountain. Now, instead of rolling down safely, or instead of landing on flat terrain and your astronaut being safe, the rolling actually caused my command pod to explode. So the launch was unsuccessful, purely based on the landing. So what I recommend you guys do is if there is an explosion, if your astronaut dies, if a launch is unsuccessful, don't worry about it. Just create a brand new rocket or once you return to the space center, to the vehicle assembly lab or whatever you want to call it, you should still have your rocket there ready to go. Another thing I highly recommend, at the bottom left of your screen, you have like basically this symmetry guide. When you are applying fins to your rocket to enhance the stability, make sure you are using that symmetry. All it's going to do is help you out. Always put a decoupler on your rocket, which is a bit of equipment that when you are going through the stages of your launch, you can go through the initial launch, then you can like decouple so the fuel tanks and everything fall off the bottom and it's just your command pod. And then all you've got to worry about is the deployment of your parachute. Make sure that you are right clicking on your parts and make sure you are changing their settings and everything like that because if you're coming down for a hard, hard landing and you have your altitude too low for the parachute deployment, it's not going to deploy in time, your astronauts, it is going to be RIP. But another thing is, like, you're building rockets and everything like that. Kerbal Space Program 2 is set to launch in Feb, if I remember correctly. Another thing is there's fun factors in this game as well. It's not just about rocket science and building rockets. They've also got, like, firework launches and stuff you can put on the side. So I think this is a really, really good game. There's a lot of detail to it. As I said, the tutorial was fantastic. But with my tips, just keep experimenting. Don't worry if you have some failed rocket launches. Don't panic if your astronaut dies. I mean, it is horrible to see that happen, but it's not the end of the world. Keep launching those rockets. Keep sorting out that goo, like data collection, so that you're getting enough science points to progress through the tech tree. Then all it's about is creating the biggest, most powerful 
most fun to ride in rockets, sending them up into space and just having a blast. No pun intended. And what we're going to do is leave that video there. Check out this video if you want to see other content on the channel. I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.